This week on Sundays with Sally, we are talking NEMA 2000. But first, I've got to get this display board done and set up so I can showcase the NEMA 2000, guys. So I'm going to get back to putting this thing back together for you guys, and we'll uh, cut and roll and edit and have you guys in the studio. We'll be talking NEMA 2000 in a minute, guys. All right, guys, so I am not the world's greatest carpenter, but I've gone ahead and I've got this display board set up for you guys so we can talk about NEMA 2000. Before we dig in, let's give a quick refresher on what exactly NEMA 2000 is. NEMA 2000, think of it this way, guys, in very simplified terms, is how numerical data gets transferred around your boat from your chart plotters to your stereo to your... Uh, I-70s, GHC-20s, things like that, where you're gonna have depth, speed, water temp, lat, long, satellite position, uh, stereo volume controls, what channel you're on, all of those kind of things are all happening on the NEMA 2000 network. So guys, now, we get asked a lot of times to come down and troubleshoot a boat that has intermittent problems, and all too often we find it's from an improper or just damaged NEMA 2000 network. So let's talk about this, guys, a little bit. See this yellow cable that's coming in right here? This is the power cable. This power cable comes into a T. Ideally, we want to put this in the middle of the system. We want to make sure we have a good and balanced electrical load on here so that way we're transferring power and powering up our devices equally without having too much drain on one side or the other. Now, if we have too much draw on one side or the other, or we need to extend it, if I take a look here, guys, we have this yellow T in here. This yellow T allows for the transfer of data, but breaks our power. So that way we can have two network power going on into there and making sure we have good clean power across the board for that. We're talking about power on this. This is a 12 volt system. Yes, it will run on 24. No, it will not be happy. No, it will not last for a long time. So now let's talk about some of the common problems we see, guys. A lot of times we'll see these NEMA T's and people don't screw each one. They'll screw on each end, and then the T just kind of sags, and these connections right here, these start to become problematic as the pins start to loosen up in there and start to see failure intermittently. So make sure these T's are screwed down securely in place. Don't just wire tie them and send it on down the road. Eventually, it will lead to a failure point. So we've got that is the problem. And the other problem that we often see is termination issues. Now, if you look onto here, you're gonna see we have an end cap on this side and we don't have one on this side. These end caps, very small, very simple. They have a male and a female, one for each end right here. You can see the pins in there on that. And this is what is stopping basically our flow of data. If we think of this as very simplified, plumbing, we need to cap it at both ends. Now again, the system will work with one end or three in, but we're going to get a lot of just erroneous failures and problems. So what's the easiest way you get on a boat, you don't have this nice, easy, simple layout in front of us. What's the simplest way to test our NEMA network, guys? It's really easy. It's simply taking a NEMA 2000 cable and cutting it. As you'll see right here, we have our red and our black, our blue and our white. Now, obviously our red and black are power, so we can go ahead and strip that back. We can check right there and see, do we have 12 volts power on there? And if we come over here to our blue and to our white, now we can test, as you see here, I've got them set up with uh, simple alligator clips and uh, we can turn on our voltmeter to ohms. As we do that, we're going to see 119. So 120, 119, 121, somewhere around in there. That is going to mean that we have one terminator in there. If I go ahead and I take out the single terminator, you're going to see that it goes to an open network. We don't need to have power applied to our NEMA to even test this. The boat doesn't need to be on. This is just on the NEMA network side. So if I go ahead and I check this and get this all lined back up here and back in, you're going to see that we have 
120, 119 again. Now, if I walk around and I take this other one and I put it into the end here, we should see that number drop on our voltmeter. Now we can hear it. It's making an audible noise on my meter, but that's 59. So uh, 60, 59, somewhere around in there, that's where we want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so we don't have to listen to that. This means we have a properly terminated NEMA 2000 network and everything's happy. You should see that, you know, 59, 60, 61, somewhere in there is what we want to see. Now, the other thing we see, sometimes there's missing, so we got an open network or a 120. We see people taking these caps and going, oh, they're dust caps, I have open ports. Now, they do sell dust caps, but don't use these terminators here with these pins in them. As Soon as I do that and I turn this on, Look at that guys, it drops right down to 40. And if I do this again, our resistance is going to drop down again to 30. So go ahead, we turn that off. And that means we have too many terminators on the NEMA 2000 network. So if you don't see 60, you know you have a problem. And it's just as easy as taking and cutting a NEMA 2000 cable. You can, even if you don't have an open port, just unplug a device, drop this in there and get your readings. That's going to tell you everything you need to know about what's going on, with the health of your NEMA network and start then from there chasing down problems, whether it's termination, loose T's, wiring, voltage, all of that kind of stuff. So that's it. That is this week's Sundays with Sally. Hopefully you guys found it informative and uh, maybe you learned a little something here. So when you want to go do some troubleshooting on your boat, you know what it is you're looking for. As always, I got to do my spiel, guys. Make sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Navtronics. We're going down to Flibs here soon, so we're going to have a lot of content from that. And uh, in the meantime, guys, uh, I'm going to go create some more content for you. Peace.